The U.S. is staying ahead in defense with cutting-edge systems, including a nuclear-capable drone. These aren't just for surveillance. They're designed to neutralize threats and, if needed, strike back against powerful nations like Russia and China. Rumors suggest they are silent, lethal, and could change warfare before anyone even sees them coming. How is the X-47 Pegasus reshaping military strategy? Join us as we explore this game-changing nuclear drone and its impact on global defense. The X-47B Pegasus, developed by Northrop Grumman, is a next-gen unmanned combat aerial vehicle. Unlike kamikaze or surveillance drones, it gathers intel and carries missiles and bombs for strategic attacks. Operated remotely with varying levels of autonomy, it can complete missions and return to base. No pilot. No need for ejection seats or oxygen systems, making it lighter and more efficient. Designed to take off and land on aircraft carriers without human control, the X-47B started as a DARPA project before the Navy integrated it into its UCSD program. With a sleek, tailless design and a powerful jet engine, this drone moves with precision and even refuels midair. First flown in 2011, the X-47B aced carrier operations by 2014, flying alongside piloted aircraft. Initially set for retirement, the Navy kept it active for further testing. The push for unmanned combat planes took off in the early 2000s when Boeing and Northrop Grumman each received $2 million for development. Challenges included carrier launches, landing systems, and resistance to electronic interference. The Navy ultimately chose Northrop Grumman's X-47B as its UCSD demonstrator, built to mirror real combat scenarios even featuring a full-sized weapons bay. Northrop worked with industry giants like Lockheed Martin and Pratt and Whitney to bring it to life. Originally expected to fly in 2009, its first prototype debuted in 2008, with testing ramping up shortly after. While the Navy initially saw drones as reconnaissance tools, Northrop had been refining the concept since 2003 with the original X-47 Pegasus. However, after the JCS program was scrapped in 2006, the project saw delays. Now, with advanced tech and a proven track record, the X-47B is redefining military strategy and shaping the future of warfare. After a short period, the X-47B demonstrator took its first flight on February 4, 2011, at Edwards Air Force Base in California. This milestone showcased the potential of autonomous flight technology and marked a major step in unmanned aerial vehicle UAV development. After its successful debut, AV-1 kept pushing boundaries. On September 30, 2011, it flew in cruise mode with its landing gear retracted, proving its ability to transition between flight modes smoothly, further cementing its role as a leader in unmanned aviation. Following suit, Air Vehicle 2 had its first flight on November 22, 2011, at Edwards. This success confirmed that AV-1's achievements weren't a fluke, but a testament to the X-47B's reliability and advanced design. These breakthroughs set the stage for more progress, expanding UAV applications in military operations, surveillance, and research. The Navy had big plans for its 2X-47BS. 50 test flights over three years at multiple bases, leading up to aircraft carrier trials. But by 2013, the drones performed so well that testing wrapped up early after just 16 flights. Their flawless execution led officials to push the limits even further. Fully autonomous carrier takeoffs and landings, plus Madair refueling. To make that happen, in 2011, the Navy started upgrading one drone with aerial refueling systems, aiming for full capability by 2014. Meanwhile, in 2012, Northrop Grumman engineers built a remote control system for deck crews, allowing precise maneuvering like an oversized RC aircraft. Later in 2012, the Navy's Combat Air System demo program launched a series of tests at Pusheen River Naval Air Station, a key hub for aerospace innovation. Two prototype drones, Ghost Hawk and Shadow Ray, we're at the center of these trials, designed to push autonomous combat aviation even further. In May, Ghost Hawk underwent electromagnetic interference testing. Not just routine diagnostics, but a deep dive into its resilience in electronic warfare. 
As battlefield threats grew more advanced, ensuring the drone's reliability in these conditions became crucial. These results would shape the future of carrier-based UAVs. The next month, Pegasus 2 joined the trials for its own set of rigorous tests. These weren't simple system checks. Engineers evaluated complex naval maneuvers like arrested landings and catapult launches, pushing the drone's capabilities to the max. Pegasus 2 made history with its first land-based catapult launch, marking a leap forward for naval aviation. This wasn't just a technical win. It was a glimpse into a future where autonomous aircraft seamlessly operate with human pilots. On November 26, 2012, the X-47 be moved to carrier testing, boarding the USS Harry S. Truman at Naval Station Norfolk. By December 18th, it had completed its first at-sea test phase, proving it could integrate smoothly with the carrier's flight deck, hangars, and communication systems. After deck trials, it returned to Point River for more tests. On May 4th, 2013, it landed on a simulated carrier deck. Ten days later, it became the first unmanned aircraft to launch from an aircraft carrier, taking off from the USS George H.W. Bush in the Atlantic. By May 17th, the X-47B hit another milestone, executing touch-and-go landings while the carrier was in motion, proving autonomous aircraft could handle the challenges of naval aviation. Its built-in safety features reinforced its reliability. When one navigation system failed, the others detected the issue and triggered a safety shutdown. Engineers saw this not as a failure, but as proof of the drone's intelligence in identifying and addressing problems. Further tests on July 15, 2013, pushed the drone's limits. Despite navigation issues, Navy researchers saw these as learning opportunities rather than setbacks. Between 2013 and 2015, the X. 47B underwent more trials to explore how autonomous aircraft could integrate with traditional naval aviation. This required a major shift in carrier operations, much like the transition from propeller planes to jets decades earlier. Key questions emerged. How would unmanned aircraft communicate with air traffic control? What changes were needed for launch and recovery? How would crews safely service autonomous planes? The answers helped shape a new operational doctrine for naval aviation. A major milestone came with the drone's 100th flight under the UCSD program. By July, it had completed 16 precise carrier approaches, 5 wave-off function checks, 9 touch-and-go landings, 2 arrested landings, and 3 catapult launches. The biggest achievement came on April 25th, when the X-47 be made history with the world's first fully autonomous aerial refueling successfully connecting with an Omega Air KC-77 tanker off Maryland's coast. This marked the completion of all key demonstrations, proving the game-changing potential of unmanned aircraft in naval operations. The X-47B program came with a steep price tag. Initially awarded a $635 million contract in 2007, cost ballooned $813 million by 2012. Despite funding running out by September 2013, the Navy wasn't done. The program received an additional $63 million in June 2014 for further development. Cutting-edge design and performance. Built by Northrop Grumman, the X-47B is a stealthy, tailless flying wing designed for carrier-based operations. It measures 38 feet 2 inches long with a 62-foot wingspan, which folds down to 39 feet for compact storage. The drone weighs 28,837 pounds empty and can take off at 44,051 pounds, powered by a Pratt and Whitney F-100-220 engine, reaching speeds of Mach 0.9, 690 miles per hour, and altitudes of 42,000 feet. Advanced capabilities. With a range of 2,400 miles, the X- 47B can carry 9,000 pounds of ordnance across two internal weapon bays. It features state-of-the-art sensors, including synthetic aperture radar, ground-slash-maritime moving target indicators, and electronic warfare systems, enabling autonomous reconnaissance and combat missions. Evolution of the X-47 series. The X-47A, introduced in 2003 served as a proof-of-concept with a 27.8-foot wingspan, 
The X-47B, first flown in 2011, was a major leap forward, becoming the first drone to autonomously launch and land on an aircraft carrier. The proposed X-47C envisions a larger, next-gen platform for surveillance, strike missions, and potential Air Force bomber roles. Prestigious recognition. The X-47B's breakthroughs earned it two major aviation honors. In 2014, it won Aviation Week's Laureate Award for its advancements in stealth and autonomous flight. More notably, it received the 2013 Collier Trophy, joining legendary winners like Charles Lindbergh and the Apollo program, confirming its place as a game-changing milestone in aviation. With the X-47B, the future of autonomous air combat and naval aviation is closer than ever. Don't forget to subscribe to Digital Era for more fascinating and informative content. Thanks for watching.